Welcome back, everyone, to the lovely Toad Town port. We were just offered a ride from a whale, so let's take her up. I'm assuming a her, just because I've given it a voice like that, but whatever. Hard to tell, I guess. Do you want to go to Lava Lava Island? Oh, the weird 3D eyes. Oop. Sure this is safe, then? Make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. Who's talking? Was that supposed to be Colorado? They're a bit higher up than usual, so the um, dialogue box tail wasn't actually pointing at anyone. Well, it was pointing at the whale, but obviously it wasn't the whale talking. Chapter 5. Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. Looks like a cool boss this time. We see the silhouette. If you want me to take you back to Toe Town, just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing. Gracious! Oh, Mario, there, off in the distance, the top of Mount Lava Lava. Triumphant, we must hurry, make haste! Well, I've got a new zone to explore, so uh, give me a moment. This is where the whale comes and goes. Riding the whale sure was fun. This is where all travelers first set foot on the beach of Lava Lava Island. Beautiful water, deep lush jungles, a huge volcano. There's something for everyone. Ooh, I see something back there as well. A stopwatch. And I see what looks like an exit there. Let's come here later. Can't get up there. A coconut. Um... I'd rather have a coconut, because I can probably cook with that. Um, we've got all these plants we can interact with. Oh, okay. Alright, if I spin, that happens. So do these guys just give hearts sometimes, or... Oh, yeah. That's useful. I wonder if this area is really hard that they give you, like, extra healing. Yog! Help, I say, help! Oh. Fuzzies. I would say, I'm sure I was lining up with him. Okay, let me just get rid of one as fast as possible. And then we can tattle on the other one. This is a jungle fuzzy. Jungle fuzzies are very similar to other fuzzies, but they live in the jungle, so that's their name. Max point seven, attack power two, defense power zero. They cling to you, suck out your HP, and add it to their own. What a sleazy move. They won't stop clinging to you unless you tear them off with the action command. They also occasionally divide, so let's beat them before they can get the chance. All right. Defense up. Oh. Nice. My defense is high enough that that doesn't even do anything to me. In fact, nah. I was thinking about like focusing and just taking two rounds to beat him, but that seems a bit wasteful. Let's go ahead and head bonk our way to victory. Many thanks, old chum. Well, enough of that. Let's pull ourselves together and press on what you say. What? Or what did you say? Uh, let's go for Cooper. I feel like he'd be good against the, the groups of enemies. Especially if those fuzzies multiply. Electric Igor and Boo's shop. Alright. I'll have to deliver that when we get home. Now is this... 
something. All right. Jump on things, jump behind things. Gotta investigate all your corners. Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything other than ring prettily. Oh, Yoshi's Village. Oh, we have a letter for someone here in Yoshi's Village. Let's have Perry carry out. Hi, hello, howdy. This is Yoshi's Village. Mount Lava Lava, you say? Well, the volcano is just to the east of our village, but there's no way to reach it. Besides, the village leader said it's best not to get too close because it looks like it might erupt any day. All right. What do we have? Three statue Yoshis of all colors. Ooh, big Yoshi. Oh, the village leader is my friend. I mean, hello. How are you? But anyway, ever since he was a child, the village leader has had a very strong sense of personal responsibility and hunger. When I heard he was going to be the village leader, I wasn't surprised at all. Welcome to you, Mario. I am the village leader of Yoshi's Village. Ah, you come seeking help. You wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm. The entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. The volcano has awakened as well. I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. Alright, well, I'll be the judge of that. Anything with you? Doesn't seem to be. Ah, uh, I had a suspicion. Yeah, I still need to go through and collect up all these things eventually. If I want to get those sweet, sweet badges from Mer Merlot. Hello, hello, if it isn't Mario, welcome to Lava Lava Island. This island is almost entirely covered by a thick jungle. Still, how can you beat living in this tropical climate? Hey there, Mario. Have you met the ravens yet? They live at the top of the biggest tree in the village. There are lots of them, but they never come down. They speak a different language from ours, too. Pretty mysterious, huh? Everyone says they're the disciples of the master of this island, Raphael the Raven, but do you really think so? Is that everyone? Might have been. All right, let's keep on heading there. I think it was to a Yoshi kid. Where are the children here? I need to deliver the letter to. Yep, there we go. Um, ooh, so many people to talk to. And I think I just saw... Yep, we'll have fast travel here eventually. Let's go ahead and drop off at the shop first. I want to deposit this coconut for later cooking. Let's see, we've got a lot of offensive items. Super mushrooms. Nice, nice. This is Cabana. Let's check our coconut. And I don't think we're going to use that dizzy dial. How much money do we have? Yeah, we're a bit low on money. Let's sell it rather than checking it. Anything else we want to sell? Uh, four attack power to everyone. I could use that to finish off the group, maybe. Okay, that opens up a couple of slots for us. Let's go ahead and save. Safety. Oh, looks like that. Very nice toad house. I don't think we even down low. I just like to stop in. See, now that doesn't actually look too comfortable. It's just like a slab of wood. Of course, Mario's just a piece of paper, so, you know, whatever. Okay, exit out that way. Okay, let's start talking to some more Yoshis. How are you, Mario? Hey, have you talked to the cheap sheep over there yet? She's famous around here for being a great babysitter. Her name is Sushi. She watches over the kids. What would we do without her? Sometimes the kids complain about it, but mm, kids are kids. By the way, an archaeologist named Colorado or something went into the jungle alone. He said he was making for Mount Lava Lava, but the path ends halfway there. I wonder how far he got. Oh, it's Mario! You're on an adventure or something, right? Wow, cool. Who's that with you? Is that your partner? Man, I wish I could be. That'd be a dream come true. The grown-ups won't let us go out of the village, because they say it's too dangerous. That meddling old cheap keeper is always watching us, and she won't let us enter the jungle. 
<laughs> we'll see about that. Us guys, the fearsome five, we aren't afraid of anything. We're the fearsome five. When we arrive, it's live at five. We always stick together, even when we're being bad. Speaking of which, today's the day we put our secret plan into action. It's so cool. Only we five know the plan, and that's the way it has to be. Sorry, can't tell you. Oh man, I'm so excited. I hope I can find a lot of tasty fruit in the jungle. Oh, we have the fearsome five of Yoshi's Village. Yeah, we play hide and seek together. We can't leave the village though, so it's sort of boring. I want to play somewhere bigger and more exciting. And I want to see the jungle. It's dangerous, you know. Now that'd be exciting. We're the fearsome five of Yoshi's Village. We're all best friends, you know. We're together when we play and when we get in trouble. We're always together. Of course, now we won't be. We're playing hide and seek. And I'm it. I hate being it. Mm. Oh, it's Mario. Hey, Mario. Are you looking for adventure? If you want, we'll go with you. You won't have to worry at all. The fearsome five's got your back. Let's go to the jungle. We're not scared. We just can't ever go, because that meddlesome old cheap cheap stops us. A red Yoshi kid. Ah, you must be the one. My name is Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter, duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Thanks. I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal made up a new game. I've got to play this later. He also wants me to come over to his town and play with him sometime. But how can I get there? Oh well, maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. It's really funny, because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Mr. Paracary, will you help? Here, deliver my letter to this toad kid who asked you to send this one to me. Could you? Thanks! The dainty near to town station. All right, so probably once we're done here, we'll we'll head back there. Ah, uh, welcome. We don't get visitors to this island very often. You should know that the jungle beyond here is dangerous. Our kids are forbidden to go in. Oh, and by the way, I just saw a Koopa guy who calls himself an archaeologist running in the opposite direction. He was saying something about finding a way to the volcano. Now there's a guy who's heading for danger. It's rare to have visitors these days. I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Well, if they think they can fool Sushi, they'd better think again. Alright, I think that's everyone talked to- oh wait, no, what wasn't there yet? Oh, hey. Call! Oracle of the Stars, Mario comes to this island. Mario is fated to meet Master Raphael the Raven. Ka. Ka? Are you the Mario that Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? Can I talk to you? No. Whee! Alright. So, they said that Colorado went in the opposite direction. I'm assuming that's the Zisso way. Now let's get Goombari. Oh, I forgot to have Goombario actually tell us about the town. Let's do that real quick. Starting with the first section. I, don't, I wonder if this spin is actually faster. It feels like it might be, but mostly just feels kind of more fun than just walking. Yoshi seems to love the beach. Just looking at those guys basking in the sun makes me feel very relaxed. And yet, even though I'd love to just sleep on the beach, I'm excited to move on. Nothing compares to adventure, that's for sure. There's a real tropical resort atmosphere here, isn't there? There's a nice toad house with beach access, and you can go to the volcano or Jade Jungle. Jade Jungle, that's what it is. Oops. Yarg! Yeek! Ha! Help! Look! Help! The entrance of the volcano is very near here. A green jungle, a massive volcano, and red hot flowing lava? What a view. This probably wouldn't look so good if the lava were coming towards us. Alright, get back to Keeper. Um, oh, I'm back to Gumbario, because that's a new enemy. We've just been fighting Shy Guys. And now here's another one. Let's take out one of them first, and then we can 
more safely investigate the other. Nope. A bit more delayed than I thought it would be. This is a spear guy. Spear guys are relatives of shy guys. They live in the jungle. Max point 7, attack power 3, defense power 0. You'll get hurt if you attack with a hammer while they're pointing the spear at you. You'll also get hurt if you try to jump on them when the spear is pointing upward. Pay attention to the position of their spears when we attack. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call in reinforcements. After they throw their spears, they become ordinary shy guys. Alright. That's gonna be a bit tricky. I think this Cooper, in his shell, will he get hurt with them pointing the spear forwards? I guess we'll find out. Phew, you saved me once more. Oh, top notch, Mario. Now, I feel that our destination, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on while our spears are high, eh? Alright, well, we've got two enemies scanned in the region. Normally, we only have, like, two, two or three different types of guys. There's a bunch of different sh shy guys, but they're all kind of variants of the same thing. Just like it's been a while since I've had bushes to shake. Ah, Mario. Have a look at this. Nice musical sting. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it. The secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, hmm? But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Oh, did I just see the edge of something? Jam and jelly. Ooh, a highly nutritious snack restores 50 FP. That, I think, is the strongest FP restoring item. Ugh! Gag! St ah! B stop it! Oh, ho ho ho. You think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke? Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on. Oh, you, Colorado. Now, where's this research team we had last time? That doesn't sound good. Oh, such ill fortune. The children are missing. They seem to have secretly slipped off to the jungle. They don't know it's dangerous. We must get them back here to safety. Mario, could I ask you to look for these lost children? As you can see, the ushers of my village are panicking. They aren't thinking straight. I'll try to calm them down. You just find those kids. I swear, all these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone had better solve their problems so we can quiz them, eh, old boy? That's pretty harsh. Alright, so into the forest we go. So many bushes to shake. Uh, let's scan it. I thought jungles were supposed to be all trees, but this one's full of waters. Are all jungles like this? It looks like we can't reach the other shore from here. We'll have to find another way. Another plant. Looks like a pair of scales. Nope. A pair of symbols. Did that damage us? It's hard to tell. Oh. Alright. Um. Let's go ahead and take out one of them, as per usual. These guys look like they should hurt to, like, touch, but I'm not sure where. Okay, that's delayed as well. Ouch. Uh, let's get Kumbario out here and give us a quick scan. This is a hurt plant. Hurt plants pretend to be heart plants, which give you a heart when you touch them. Maximum's 8, attack bar 2, defense bar 0. If a heart plant bites you, you'll be poisoned. Then your hit point will slowly fall with each turn. We better beat him as quickly as possible. Unless you can frequently restore your HP, you'll find yourself in trouble pretty fast. Alright, so yeah, those heart plants. No, I think I was still a bit too slow. Um, actually. Uh, I think he only does 4 damage, right? I was wondering if 
Mario could do a refresh and then beat him, but no. Let's just go for the kill. In fact, that lava, or the, the fire badge seems less useful here. Maybe we want the spike badge? Let's switch to that for a second. See if that does anything for us here. Spike shield. Alright, so we can do that. I'm suspicious of everything now. Yep, I should be suspicious of everything now. Well, at least we can't bring Barrio out immediately now. Ambush. This is an ambush. Ambushes pretend to be bushes and wait for unwary prey. What does the M stand for? Mimic? Like someone's 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Their bites are sometimes poisonous, so be careful. If you get poisoned, your HP will gradually fall. Your situation could become critical unless you restore your HP as soon as possible. Let's clear them out quickly, okay? Use some, your most powerful attack, why don't you? Um, will this be enough? No, not quite. Yeah, I'm having trouble getting the timing on these guys down. With eight, I think Goombario should be able to finish this guy up and I'll have enough time for Mario to do a refresh. There we go. Got it that time. Let's refresh. We've got full star points, so there's no reason not to. Gives us a pretty good introduction of the jungle. We've got weird plants, some good, some bad, hidden dangers, secret paths. Come back tomorrow and we'll continue uh, searching around for these Yoshi kids. Try to save the day. Until then, bye.